Hi guys, and I want to show you a little gadget for me. I got it this gadget from a good buddy from Austria. It's an older smartwatch by Garmin. It's a Phoenix 3HR. It's an older model. The battery is okay inside. That is a little bit downside of this. But first we want to start it. Um, yes, I will, this is one of my first time to wear a watch. Normally I never wear a watch. Um, and this is one of, uh, to this, my first um, smartwatch. And yes, uh, yeah, I tried to show you my little gadget here. And this guy inspired to me to buy a, a Phoenix 6. Because this new one has some gadget uh, programs that may not work really good on this. But back to this little guy. Yes. You see my main design I use. Normally this watch has a digit, um, a dig, digit um, design. I like more this traditional uh, watch design with the big and small um, index things and so you see the um, some information for example the day the the date uh, the Bluetooth connection the steps the battery starters the second and so on and so on um, I try my best to show you this because it's not easy to do this behind camera and so there are buttons around this start back button start stop button a start and stop button, back button, up and down, um, light. Now I put the clock on permanently light, and so, and I try to show you best. First, the main. Then you have the barometer. That show the pressure of the air. Uh, some GPS statics. I'm now inside a building that maybe the GPS is not working. Um, the steps, uh, the altimeter, I calibrated one day because this clock has some little problem with the altimeter. Uh, my temperature, that is uh, this clock or this watch, measures the temperature directly from the body if you wear this on the wrist. Um, the weather, the watch takes this information from the paired smartphone you can use uh, the Garmin app uh, connect and then uh, this app take the information from the phone put that into the weather and you can see what weather around in your area and then you have the heart frequency this is measured from the body directly you can purchase uh, or buy a second um, sensor you can uh, use it then this on your chest a chest heart sensor great great for guys who want workouts and so and let's hand then back to the main watch design uh, but I use I want to use this more for my fishing and sailing and sometimes for my climbing um, tours. So if you press along the top button, this, you can to a point or the little app, it's called Gezeiten. Uh, you can download some app on this little watch and you can use it. And if you press again, uh, you see the tides. Uh, Gezeiten is called in English tides, or in German we call it Gezeiten. <laughs> And this um, little nice watch get the information from the um, GPS and sometimes directly from the phone. I calibrated it to my destination, my location that is here in Hamburg and I uh, confirmed this last days um, that this information are correct. We have in Hamburg some towers that show you the Tide, the high and low tide. Now it start going to the high tide. That is this point from the light low tide, 
and I confirmed this with some other apps and again with the towers here in German in, in Hamburg. The app catch the GPS signal and um, show me the tide on this. It's a great thing because if you go um, fishing, for example, to this game fish thunder, uh, you have to sometimes look at the tide um, because sometimes you have problem to get it this fish because this fish is very tight, uh, uh, very um, like the high and low tides. Uh, so um, great function of this. Sometimes you need it if you're going Norway. You have to uh, where you are out on the sea to look for sandbanks where you can uh, get trouble with the boat. You need some tides too. Um, there's a function to calibrate this app to the destination where you go to, uh, where you stay. For example, if I now go to Norway, I press the GPS um, uh, calibration and this watch calibrate exactly to the destination. A great, great function, great, great thing. And it showed me the date, the meters, uh, the low tide in meters, the high tide in meters, the time where the tide is going up and down, great, great function. So, um, yes, that is why I want to use this clock, uh, this watch a lot. Um, and the new models, maybe I want to buy the Phoenix 6 or the Tactics has a function to use more of maps and use as a little navigator. Um, I really do not recommend it, use this time of device only for uh, navigation is better if you have two devices that you can every time confirm it to the right um, so that is but it's a nice gadget to support and help you a bit outdoors on the sea on the ocean on the rivers I want to use this uh, for my fishing sailing and sometimes for my expedition thing at the uh, yes I hope you could see something that is the Garmin um, Phoenix 3 HR, an older smartwatch design thing, gadget, and I'm very, very appreciated to get, to get this from this buddy from Austria, great, great little machine. So I hope you could, um, or you could, can see something or understand me, if you use a similar Thing, please comment it or tell me something about your device and if you have a question to this feel free to uh, feel free to ask and I wish you a happy day and have fun with your gadget and gear and stay safe positive and I say bye bye